So today we are making shrimp fried rice. I have cut up garlic, I have cut up onion, I have used some Mexican corn <laughs> that I had for breakfast. I actually made some omelets this morning with Mexican corn in it, but I had some leftover corn and then I just used some mixed vegetables from yesterday's dinner. Um, I also cut up a few of these peppers that I got from the farmer's market. We actually thought that they were hot, but they're not. They taste like bell pepper, so I just use them as bell pepper. And if y'all know what to do with these, have y'all ever heard of these? Shazam? Shishito pepper? Uh, tell me in the comments. I cooked some rice earlier, and I put a little bit of butter in my skillet to keep everything from sticking. Um, like I said, I use garlic. Y'all can use minced garlic. I actually have some of that too. And then I have peeled and deveined some shrimp that I am going to put over in here once my vegetables kind of cook down a little bit. And um, yeah, we're going to use do some fried rice. I also have some soy sauce somewhere that I'm actually going to have to use my soy sauce. And it's not a lot, so y'all just pray that this works. Pray, pray that this works. So I thought about putting some crawfish tails in here, but then I was like, that might make it a little bit, that might overpower it, so I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just dropping my shrimp in there. I push my vegetables over to the side so they can still cook. Of course, I don't care if my shrimp and my vegetables touch because they're gonna mix together anyway with my rice. Some people are a little picky about that. Wash your hands and you're gonna get in there and stir it, so. Now, as far as seasoning, I'm going to put a little bit of parsley because everybody likes parsley, right? It goes in everything. Just a little bit. I'm going to use a little bit of nature seasoning because this is just good and it has everything that you need in there. I'm not measuring nothing. I'm just shaking. For my shrimp, I'm going to use a little Cajun seasoning or Creole seasoning. It smells really good. You don't have to put a lot because this has a lot of salt in it. So does the nature seasoning. And then you'll do a little bit of pepper. You can keep shaking because this pepper come out real slow. As do all pepper. And then you just kind of stir it. Make sure the seasoning gets on all the shrimp. That's just for my shrimp, but once they kind of cook down, um, I'm going to mix this with the vegetables so the seasoning will actually get into the vegetables. It's a little bit of water coming from the shrimp as well as those vegetables, so it's going to eventually kind of seep over on those vegetables anyway. My skillet is not huge, so I don't have a wok, which I'll probably need to worry about investing in soon, but not now. Um, just make sure your shrimp cook on both sides and then mix it all together. This is pretty much a one pan or one skillet meal if you don't mind your food touching, which I don't, like I said. And then once this cooks down a little bit, I'm going to add my rice in gradually. <laughs> Alright, so I also added in some basil leaves, chopped to give it a little bit more color and flavor. Um, we are going to go ahead and start adding in the rice slowly again. Rice is really good if it's been in the refrigerator already and you want to add it in. I've done fried rice like that before I added cold rice in and it was actually really good. I think it kind of it helps better about these shrimp though i have seen people add frozen shrimp to shrimp fried rice or just fried rice or anything i am not a fan of frozen shrimp in anything because i personally feel, i personally feel like it does not hold its flavor or it doesn't hold flavor period it doesn't even taste like shrimp to me it tastes watery so what are y'all experiences with pre-cooked rice instead of raw rice raw rice pre-cooked rice lord help me <laughs> what is uh your experiences with raw shrimp versus cooked shrimp 
do you feel like it holds its flavor? Do you feel like you season it well? Do you feel like you have to use more seasoning than you would any other type of shrimp? But I'm I'm just I like I like my food to be raw and then I cook it because you can flavor how you want to. You don't have to worry about it sitting in water too long. Cause even with raw shrimp, if it sits in water too long, it kind of takes the taste of that water like it has a really bland taste and I kind of feel like you have to season that a little bit more than you normally will as well. But what is your experiences? Tell me in the comments. What's your favorite go-to meal? What's your favorite one pot, one skillet meal? Do you like shrimp? Um, I've also tried pineapple fried rice and it was really good. I tried that at a sushi place before. Now I have not put in any soy sauce yet so this is just the rice and the seasoning that you all see right now. And we'll add the soy sauce in just and I just want to get this rice broke up. And I'm just dipping out of one pot putting it in the skillet. If you need to add a little bit more butter or olive oil you can use that. They actually have butter with garlic in it. It's like a garlic spread. You can use that. They have basil butter. Well, I think they used to. I know a couple years ago they had flavored butter. And you can actually use that to saute food and stuff with. And it was actually really good. The one that I did try. And I tried it probably at Sam's. Um, walking through the store when they was giving away samples and stuff. But I've never purchased it. But I heard it was good. And it tastes good when I did have it. So... That's another option if you don't really have a lot of um, seasonings in your house or you don't know what to season it with. You can just choose a, a flavored butter or a seasoned butter and you can just cook your food with that. But soy sauce is a must with fried rice. So my rice, of course, is not seasoned at all. So the only thing that was seasoned prior to this was the vegetables and the shrimp. So the rice, I'm pretty sure, is going to tone that seasoning down if it was kind of salty and then the soy sauce of course is going to add the flavor back to it and some color too because my rice looks really white and this is parboiled rice too I added some butter I'm going to add some soy sauce in and here fire If you have some packets left from a Chinese restaurant, honey, take advantage of it. Now, of course, if I had a wok, I could just kind of shake this rice around and it would be just fine. But because I don't, we just have to go with what I have. You can see like some of the soy sauce at the bottom. You see where some of it is not, so I need to add some more. It's actually really dark. Um, it's darker in person than it is on camera, but about to be good y'all so this is going to be my shrimp fried rice you plate it with some chicken or whatever y'all want and you kind of go from there add whatever you want this can either be a side dish or it can be a main dish and you just add something onto it you can cook some garlic bread if you want <laughs> add it to that um, i have some more rice left over so i might do something with the rice tomorrow but use what you have in your refrigerator or your freezer because um, you don't have to cook and go and purchase stuff every day to make a dinner. This is easy. And this is the final resort. <laughs>